Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Today we got a great Ask a Ninja from Anthony in Moyock, North Carolina. And I hope I'm saying that correctly, Anthony. Uh, he wants to know, you know, he's got a unique situation where he's got uh, metal studs in his house. He doesn't have traditional wood framing like most of us are dealing with. And he had a question about spray foaming the crawl space with metal studs. Stay tuned. If you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to crawl space encapsulation, indoor air quality, and humidity control. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel. Make sure you ring that notification bell, check out our DIY store and our franchise opportunity. All right, Anthony, this is a, a great topic. I know you have mentioned it's not good to use spray foam insulation for crawl spaces, but my house is all metal framing. All my floor joists are steel beams. So the insulation that is up there has fallen. What do you suggest for metal framing? Now, I just want to be clear about something, uh, Anthony. I, I'm not totally against spray foam. Uh, I think spray foam, is, even in your situation, it would be wise to use spray foam, whether it's a one component or potentially a two component, but normally those are big, uh, you know, they look like um, propane tanks. That's why they're two separate tanks. But one component would be like we have on our DIY store, uh, where it's just a single can of spray foam. You can use that to air seal the subfloor. All right, you don't have to completely cover all of the subfloor whenever you are insulating the crawl space. You could just use spray foam to air seal the subfloor. And then what we would typically do, I see you're in North Carolina. By the way, before I forget, we've got a video on NORP and South where we went to North Carolina and checked out uh, the NORPS crawl space. So we're going to put a link to that down below. We hope you'll go there and watch that video and support their channel. Um, but what I would recommend you do in most cases, what we recommend is insulating the foundation wall. Now I can assume, or at least I assume that your foundation wall is still either concrete or brick or, you know, some kind of block foundation. So if you were to insulate that foundation wall, uh, it would keep that, that thermal barrier or create that thermal barrier between the outside and the inside, then you can use a spray foam to air seal those major penetrations inside the subfloor, which would keep the, uh, the house from being drafty, okay? So that would be what I would recommend. Now, I'm not, I'm assuming, like I said, you don't have steel foundation walls, okay? So if you want to spray foam the uh, subfloor, then by all means do that. I would just caution you against it just because of the potential of plumbing, uh, leaks that are not going to be noticed in the future or things like that. I, I think that your subfloor is still wood, even though you have uh, metal studs and steel beams and all that supporting the entire house, which means that that subfloor could rot if they become saturated with moisture from a leak from above. And of course, any kind of insulation, whether it's a spray foam or a fiberglass or a rock wool that sits up against the subfloor is going to hide uh, potential leaks from above. So that's why we like doing the foundation wall. And then that way you don't have to worry about other than a little bit of spray foam air sealing those uh, plumbing and HVAC and electrical leak or, or uh, electrical penetrations that are coming from above. So hopefully Anthony, that helps you out. I would still encapsulate the crawl space as usual and uh, let us know. Uh, maybe you could send us some pictures of what the crawl space looks like if I didn't answer your question correctly. I'm Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day and we'll see you later.